How many unread messages are in your inbox? I, I try to keep up, but I've got just over 400 this morning. I know someone that has several thousand unread messages. I mean, if there's a particular email I really need him to read, I've got to send him a text with the subject line of the email so he can find it. According to recordsetter.com, there's a person with over 4.2 billion unread emails. <laughs> That's insane. Hey, here's a message I want you to hear. Welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and share this with a friend. Well, we all get slammed with more messages than we can handle. Our phones and computers deliver messages via email, SMS, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, and I mean a host of other platforms. Then there's news sites, which, by the way, all provide advertising messages along with the articles. Social media is an endless stream of things that we like with ads they hope we'll also like. The average person is exposed to over 3,000 advertising messages a day. And targeting messages to the audience is a multi-billion dollar industry. Well, here's the problem. The sheer volume of messages we get makes it hard to sort out the vital messages from the mundane. Today's verse tells us that faith comes from hearing the message. Now, people talk about coming to faith. The Bible talks about faith coming to you. It tells us that faith comes from hearing the message. Well, which message? The message about Jesus Christ, who he is, what he's done, the offer that he gives those who will listen. The Bible talks about faith coming to you because that's what Jesus did. He didn't just send an email or leave a voice message on your phone. He delivered it in person. You know, if you think about it for a moment, aren't all the most important messages in life delivered in person? I mean, nobody with any sense would send an email to someone proposing marriage. <laughs> Even the idea is laughable. I mean, because the message is designed to touch your heart, change your life. The person delivering it wants to make sure they've got your full attention. They come to you. They need to be certain you can, you can see the love and the commitment in their eyes as they ask, Will you marry me? That's not a message for Facebook Messenger or, or WhatsApp. Nor do you send for them to come to you. You know, you, you don't send them a text and say, yeah, just, hey, pop by when you get a chance. And then when, or if, they show up, you don't casually mention the idea of spending the rest of your lives together. Of course not. The, the message is far too important. Moreover, the person you're delivering it to is precious. The person delivering the message needs to have that communicated. Faith comes from hearing the message. It was so important to Christ that you hear his message. He came personally to deliver it. Now, I'm not just speaking about some events 2,000 years ago in Israel. I'm actually talking about today, right now. While it's absolutely true that faith comes from hearing the message of Christ, the best part is that Christ comes to you when you receive the message. Faith, the assurance of the forgiveness you hope for, the certainty that Jesus has paid the price for your sin, that faith comes when you hear and receive Christ's promise. He comes to deliver his message. He comes to offer the faith 
you need to believe. He comes. And when you accept him and his message of grace, he stays. He places his spirit within you and marks you as his own. Hearing with faith, accepting and believing, it opens a door no man can shut. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. <laughs> Blessed are those who hold on to it by faith. Blessed are those who, who receive the word of God and accept it, not as the word of men, but as, it, as what it really is, the word of God. And then let it work in them and convert them into believers. There are so many messages thrust at us every day. But the most important ones are delivered in person. Faith comes from hearing the message. Well, we're out of time today, and there are still lots of people you and I know who need to hear the message. Let's tell them. Please share this with a friend. And as you do, you're part of the team touching the hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.